Sometimes it just feels peaceful to go with current insights and let yourself be, rather than hold on to an idea without breathing space. So fearfully and firmly. Treating yourself like a machine, I must think this, I must do this, I must allow myself to be that. Reacting to yourself and life like you've always been in combat isn't the way to live, although we've been taught to think so. There is this beautiful freedom in knowing it all and being open to parts of your story that are yet to be discovered. And there is such an incredible power that is rippling through your body when on your most unsure and toughest days your heart still has faith in it. That you don't make yourself feel bad for fitting in or not fitting in with everyone's ideas. That you leave behind the social pressures and stop fearing those many fears that you've been taught or held on to for so long. Sometimes it gives life and space to dance when you can't always answer questions. And it makes life interesting when all you can do is hold that space, that silence. It's not really completeness, what we're looking for. It's not really anything that we're looking for. It's really just being humble and passionate and open and quirky and hungry and just moving through the ups and downs of life in its full sense of awesomeness. Knowing that you're alive and you are blessed and this journey is yours and you don't have to be anything but who you are. You see, everything comes together in the strangest and inspiring ways. But being you is probably the quickest way to make it come the most joyful, happiness and beautiful way to you coming together because you bring a special quality to your days, to your life. Namaste.